It's time for Dorothy's story. Hey everyone, welcome to Princess of Cake. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are here with great pretender Razbliuto. And I probably butchered how to say that, but it, it just came out like that. Um, Razbliuto, how, Razbliuto, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the sequel movie to the series Great Pretender, which as of now it only has one season. Um, but this movie acts as a sequel. So, if you have not seen the series, and especially the last case of the series, or arc, whatever you want to call it, they call it cases. But if you have not seen that, I would suggest doing so before you watch this movie reaction, because this is a direct sequel, and is going to feature spoilers, and spoiler-heavy um, content from that. So... Just giving you an out right away in case you haven't seen that. If you don't mind either way, um, I guess just continue watching. But yeah, like I said, this is a sequel movie to the series and is centering around the character of Dorothy, who in the series proper was mostly only shown in flashback. She was the uh, basically lover, girlfriend of Laurent, and is basically the major reason for why he does what he does because she was killed um in front of him and it was what led to laurent kind of doing everything that he does as a confidence man and now at the well, at the end of the last episode of the season, there was a post credits cliffhanger that re or little stinger scene, whatever the fuck you want to call it, <laughs> that revealed that Dorothy was actually alive, that she had survived uh, the attempt at her life, but was amnesic. She no does not know who she is. She's living in, I think it's Taiwan. Um, under a new name uh, with this uh, older couple, I believe. And I believe at the end of the season, she gets, or at the, you know, the, the post credit scene, she gets the ring that uh, Laurent had, and uh, I think he threw it into the ocean? But it, it washes up to where she's at, and she gets it back and everything. Um, it was, you know, connected to them. That's why Laurent had it. I believe he wore it around his neck. To be fair, it's been a while since I've actually watched uh, that part of the season. I've watched uh, earlier parts, uh, like the first case and whatnot, but I haven't watched into that part again yet. Um, the season originally came out in like 2020, so it's it's been a bit. <laughs> but yeah, this, is, this movie I know is going to follow Dorothy after the events of season one. I don't know how far it gets. I don't know, like, where it's going to go in terms of, like, will Dorothy get her memory back? Will she reunite with Laurent? Is Edamora even going to be in this in any way? <laughs> uh, I mean, I would hope Edamora and Abby at least have, like, maybe a small mention. Um, but it's, it's mostly going to center around um, Dorothy. So I'm also kind of unsure if this is going to fe feature a lot of conning like the original series does. Be because with her not having her memory, it's like, I don't, I just don't know if that's going to come into play at all. But uh, I am watching this in Japanese because I don't think the dub is out for this yet. Uh, this just came out, like, just recently. Um... So, yeah, I, I don't think there's a dub out. Um, I've heard both the sub and dub for the original, but I, I did watch it mainly in the sub, so it's fine. I have no issue watching it in the sub. Um, though there are certain aspects of the dub that I do enjoy, especially since I think for a lot of the series, the characters do canonically speak English. 
Um, but I actually, I actually, I think they speak a number of different languages within the series, depending on where they're at at the moment and stuff like that. But yeah, I think, I think during a lot of it, especially in the first case, because they're in LA, I think they're speaking English for the most part. Either way, either way, like I said, we're watching in Japanese. Um, I'm excited to see exactly where this goes because this was definitely a big cliffhanger at the end of the season and really had me excited for a possible season two but unfortunately this is one of those uh anime that was you know locked behind stupid release schedules on netflix and never got the attention it deserves um alongside stuff like doro hidoro and carol and tuesday though Hopefully, this movie gets some level of attention. I don't know if it will, but... And hopefully we can eventually get a season two. Because that's like... That would be really, really something to hope for here. Either way, uh, we're going to get this started. Uh, and just as a note, this is not a donation reward. This is something that I just decided to do because it just came out and I was super excited for it. I know I didn't react to the first season of Great Pretender. I, I just watched that on my own time and everything. Um, but this is something that I do want to react to here. And I just decided I'm not going to wait for it. I'll just do it now. We'll have plenty of time to do more donation reward movies. Don't worry. <laughs> more of those will be coming. Plenty will be coming. But I just wanted to do this uh, this week just because it just came out and I'm just really excited for it. So, yeah, and I decided I wanted to react to it. So, yeah. <laughs> Either way, let us get this going and I hope for the best. So, when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black, then it fades back in. Everything for that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the movie. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So, obviously, like, you have to compare this as a sequel movie to the, um, to the series, uh, how does this stack up in comparison? The thing I would say is that it's it's obviously the same um, series overall, but it definitely has a different feeling than the main series, the main uh, first season did. Uh, the first season, which had like 23 episodes, I believe it was, um, had a very different feeling because it was split into separate cases and each case was about uh, Edamora, Laurent, Abby, and the rest of the gang trying to, you know, scam rich people uh, and stop them from, you know, being fucking terrible pieces of shit. And the last case obviously delved a lot more into Laurent's character and introduced Dorothy and everything. And it was... It was a very different feeling, just in general, with the original series because of how it was formatted and the characters that it focused on, and the fact that it was focused more on the con artist side of things. While this is more centered around the mob, basically. Um, so it has a very different feeling in that regard, but a lot of the same kind of story beats are there. There's still the cool factor. There's still um, the factor of, you know, scamming. That's actually a big part of it. You also have, like, the danger factor and, you know, just the drama of it all. A, a lot of that is still there. It's just, you know, presented slightly differently because of the context. And while we get to hear about Abby and see Edamora for a little bit and even get uh, to see Laurent at the end, this is Dorothy's story. This is her story um, 10 years after she um, supposedly died 
and how she's been living her life and this specific instance of meeting a man who took her for quite a ride over the course of a short period of time. And although it didn't work out and they did split in the end, I mean, she enjoyed her time spent with him. And the new characters we got to meet in this and the new aspects to this kind of story uh, were great. I, I think that they were super likable characters. Jay is extremely likable and clearly was only doing all of this for, you know, the reasons that he was kind of born into it. His father was, you know, this big head honcho in this crime family and he really didn't have a way out and he didn't want to you know betray his father so he struggled with that throughout this entire film and it's great to see him make the right decision in the end but still um also finding out that uh the secretary girl was a confidence woman and was like you know putting on an act the entire time was amazing and apparently this was all from what i gathered there was all like a plan by laurent like this was all him like pulling the strings which it absolutely makes sense like that is definitely something laurent would do but it's also really sad because that means he's been doing all of this to help you know, to help Dorothy. Which means at some point he found out she was alive. This girl who he loved. And who he saw die in front of him. He found out she survived and he did everything he could to help her. And in the end, he did get to see her face to face again, but she doesn't know who he is. And I, I, I kind of like that by the end, she didn't get her memory back. And honestly, I don't think she's going to. If we do get a season two at some point, I don't think she's going to ever get, his, get her memory back. And I think that's a good thing. She's found a family. She's found a home. She's found a life that she's happy with and can be proud of. And I don't think Laurent would want her to get back into this adventure and this danger and everything. I think he would want her to be happy. But him getting to see her one last time, it's like, it gets me emotional. <laughs> Cause it's like, I love this series. And that was a really emotional, heavy part of the se of the first season. I'm still I'm calling it the first season for sake of uh, ease because a second season isn't confirmed yet. But yeah, it it was such a powerful part of this, and I think it's right that she doesn't get her memory back. She should live her life. But it's also sad, you know. <laughs> Um, getting to see Edamora in this, even if not for, like, super long, getting to see Laurent in this was so satisfying as well. It's just, it, it's, it's just so, like, you know, happy to see my boys again. <laughs> and even though she wasn't really shown, just knowing that Abby was involved as well is fantastic, because I adore Abby. Um, but yeah, it's just... This was good on its own. Like, all the characters, again, e even outside of just our two main characters with uh, Dorothy and uh, Jay, um, Ai, I think his name is, um, he was a very entertaining character. He kept going back and forth on, like, which side he was on, but he was entertaining. The, the blonde little shit with the forked tongue, um, who kept switching sides as well, um, he was kind of delightfully creepy <laughs> um the toad as i call him um my god i hate his face so much and i i'm not really upset that he died <laughs> because it's like oh my god just his eyes are so goddamn creepy it's just like so unsettling to me the way he's drawn 
and, and even um, Jay's father, the boss and everything, it's like, just the way he's portrayed, his calmness during pretty much everything. He's so calm in every situation until the end. When you finally see him, like, actually come face to face with Dorothy, he gets angry. He, he breaks that calm and starts losing it. And I like that. I like I like that he's calm the entire film, and then at the end he just breaks because it's, he's finally face to face with one of the people he blames for everything that happened with his arm being taken, well, hand being taken, and everything. So yeah, I think that's just really good character work there. The visuals were of course phenomenal. They they were in the original season as well. And they're phenomenal here. Um, the color work especially has always been like a big highlight of this series. So seeing it return here was fantastic. The soundtrack, another highlight from the series that definitely, definitely made its return here. So many amazing songs used in this. The, the voice acting was top notch. Everything was just perfection. It did everything it needed to do in just the right ways. And... I really couldn't have asked for anything better. Like, honestly, this is exactly what I wanted out of this movie. I wanted it to really capture the spirit of the original series while also giving us a brand new story from a new perspective, and it did. <coughs> Excuse me. It was... Uh, extremely satisfying four years after the season came out to finally get more and i only hope that we'll eventually get a season two but if we don't the content we've gotten like i'm satisfied with it this if we don't get any more this felt like a proper conclusion it closed out the loose ends that we had after uh the cliffhanger of the original season. And it finished out the story that we still needed to hear. And I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. I would love more. I absolutely want more. But if this is what we get, I am satisfied with that. And I can, I can completely be happy with what they did with this series. So, yeah. I, I, I'm very glad I decided to check this out today. I'm just, like, really happy that this all worked out excellently. And, yeah, hopefully as we continue into more donation reward movies and just other movies in the future, we continue to have this great of a time. But... Tell me in the comments below, what did you think of Great Pretender Razbluto? Let me know your thoughts down below. And for now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.